All right, so one of the questions that I get a lot is once you start creating digital products, like where do you sell them? I think it's really, really easy to, to, to get caught up in the creation mode of digital products. That can be the really fun part of your business. But then when it comes down to how do you market and how do you sell them, I realize a lot of people have questions around this. And so in this particular video, I'm going to talk about how anyone can get set up and begin making money selling their digital products right here on YouTube. All of the money that I generate inside of my digital business comes from YouTube as well as my email list. But in this particular video, I'm going to talk about number one, why YouTube is such a brilliant play for selling your digital products. And number two, I am going to offer up some tips so that you know exactly how you can begin leveraging YouTube as a place and a playground for selling your digital products. Make sure you grab a notebook and grab a pen because I have brought the goods to help you today. Okay, so let's talk about why YouTube is such a brilliant platform to sell your digital products on. Number one, it's a search engine. It is the second largest search engine to its daddy Google, which basically means people still do come to YouTube and search for things they want to learn more about. So if your digital product is helping someone to accomplish something or teaching someone how to do something, it means you can actually create content right here on YouTube selling your digital product and YouTube will help get your video in front of people that are searching for the solution of what your digital product has to offer. So let's say your digital product is helping women that want to lose weight and you start creating content that is educational and informational around losing weight for women and inside of your video or in your description, you're offering your ebook as the actual solution that they can buy to help them in accomplishing their goal of losing weight. As you create all of this content serving your market of women that want to learn, that want to learn how to lose weight, well, guess what? YouTube will do its part to help get your content, get your video in front of women that are out there searching for how to lose weight. Now, yes, there is a skill around all of this. You have to learn how to create the right kind of content. You have to know what your ideal person is actually searching for, what their pain points are. Like there are definitely things that you have to learn about using YouTube and creating the right kind of content to get in front of your ideal person, but it's very well worth it. The way that I look at it, there's no greater place to be than right in front of someone that has actually searched for something. So imagine someone asking a question and your video being shown to them as the answer or one of the many answers that are out there, right, to help them in solving their problem. So if you are actually selling something, it is awesome to know that you can be placed in front of someone that has the intent on buying or the desire to buy or the desire to solve a problem, knowing that your video, the contents of your video and your digital product can actually be an answer to their needs. The second reason why YouTube is such a brilliant platform to create content and sell your digital products on is it is a recommendation engine. So much like TikTok and much like uh, Instagram, YouTube uses its algorithm to show our content to people that are consuming the same kind of content that we are creating. In my opinion, the reason why this is so brilliant and why I focus more on getting my content found and discovered in this way is that you really get to leverage the power of attraction marketing. What do I mean by this? Well, if people are already out there consuming content, in this example, on losing weight, and let's say this particular woman has consumed a lot of different content around losing weight and all different kinds of ways and, and, and schemes and tactics around losing weight, and she's just not content with what she's discovered. What YouTube does is they will actually look into her history, her watch history, and when you come along and you create this awesome piece of content, talking about your weight loss strategy and introducing her to your weight loss digital product that she could purchase to help her in solving her problem, right? YouTube's going to take your piece of content, right? And they're going to put it in front of her. They could put it in front of her as a recommended video to something else that she's watching, or they could put it in front of her as a recommended video on her homepage. So it's like the next time she logs into YouTube, your video could be sitting right there in front of her face. Like I just get goosebumps because this just amazes me that we're able to leverage these platforms in this way to be able to make money from home. 
So when you know this, the reason I say we get to activate attraction marketing is because there's been something about the other content that she's consumed that for whatever reason hasn't met her needs. Like this happens to all of us. We consume a lot of content and then someone comes along, right? And because of the power of attraction marketing, maybe it's the color of their skin. Maybe it's the way that they share their story. Maybe it's parts of their story. Maybe it's just the solution that they're offering, right? There's some kind of likability factor that draws us into uh, to them, right? And then they become the person that we want to do business with, or they become the person we want to listen to. So you can actually become that person in another person's life. And to me, when I think about YouTube as a search engine and I think about YouTube as a recommendation engine, it means that we never have to like start from scratch in terms of like not knowing what kind of content to create to get in front of people that are great candidates for buying our digital product. Please write this down. Like all you really have to decide to do is really know and learn who your ideal person is, what is it that they want, what pain points do they have, what questions they have, and number one, create a digital product that meets their needs and then create the content, right, that speaks to them and calls them in, right, and be the person that they actually end up want to buy from. All of this for free, like right here on YouTube. Such a brilliant play. And again, whether you look at it as a search engine or a recommendation engine, with you, which YouTube both is, you're still being positioned to be discovered by someone, right, that has the interest or the desire to want to learn more about what you are talking about. You're not putting your information out there into the cold world, right, in front of people that don't have any interest or any desire or haven't already been consuming this kind of content. Your content can literally be set up in such a way where it's only being put in front of people right, that have an interest in what you are actually talking about and what you are actually selling or offering as a digital product right inside of your business. You can decide to really learn this stuff and get really, really good at getting your content in front of people that already want this information and never having to start with the true cold market. Of every way that I've tried to make money online and sell various products and services, YouTube has always given me the best results because I feel like I'm always in a warm market or I'm always in a hot market. I'm always being put in front of, in front of people that already want what I have to offer. And or when it comes to making the buying decision, YouTube and the way that I get to create my content, it allows me to connect in such a way where someone can feel very comfortable making a buying decision directly from my YouTube content. And the same can be true for you as well. All right, so let's talk about something really fun when it pertains to YouTube as a search engine and a recommendation engine. I want you to think about your individual niche. If you are looking for ways to sell digital products online, right, you probably already have a niche. My niche is the make money online niche. My niche is very high in demand. There's a lot of people out there consuming the content, wanting to learn more, and you know, wanting to learn how to like get their share of making money online. So because there's so many people out there already consuming this kind of content on YouTube and very open to how they can begin learning more about this and even investing into themselves to learn, you know, how to start making money online, YouTube every single week brings fresh eyeballs into my business. It brings fresh subscribers into my audience and it also adds leads to my business as well. So like just last week alone, as an example, I was able to generate over 100 new subscribers for my YouTube channel. I was able to generate thousands of views on my videos last week, and I was able to generate, uh, I think, 65 to 70 new leads inside of my business last week, meaning, right, that's between 65 and 70, I forget the exact number, but they actually left YouTube and they actually decided to opt in to learn more about what I actually have to offer. So I am building my own database, which if you don't know this, is the most valuable asset that you can build in your business. So YouTube for free is helping me to generate fresh new leads for my business as well. And on top of that, because again, it's such a warm slash hot market, 
I was also able to generate quite a few sales, right, from those that have actually joined my email list directly from YouTube as well, right, enabling me to make just, this, let's just say, multi four figures last week alone. That's the possibilities, right, that await for each and every one of us that decide to really learn how to use YouTube as a platform of selling our digital products, or to be quite honest with you, anything that you want to sell. Because the people are literally already out there consuming the content, searching for the content, like literally waiting to be connected with someone that they can relate to, that they like, that they can resonate with, and that they feel comfortable in actually learning more about. All right, so now I'm gonna offer up some tips to help you in starting to sell your digital products right here on YouTube as well. The first thing you want to do is decide your digital product niche, right? What market do you want to serve or what industry do you want to serve or what topic do you want to talk about and, and serve, um, you know, a solution in or offer up a solution in and what people do you actually want to serve, right? So if you were to think about, again, weight loss, right, who do you want to serve and how do you want to help people in the weight loss niche, right? Do you want to specialize in helping women that want to learn how to lose 50 pounds or more with the keto diet? right? Do you want to help women that are over 50 that are like menopausal or premenopausal that are struggling with losing weight? So the first thing is you want to really establish your niche. And again, the fun thing is, is that there are probably tons of people out there already consuming content and searching for, right, solutions in the niche that you want to serve. But you want to make sure you, you get very specific around this and you want to decide because you want to create your entire channel, right, for this niche and to serve this particular group of people. All right, the second thing you want to do is you want to decide your digital product. Like, what do you actually want to offer your people? You have two choices here. You can either decide to create your own digital products completely from scratch, been there, done that, have an entire library of digital products that I've actually created all the way from very simple and low cost ebooks to multi thousand dollar courses. It's entirely up to you. The other option is you can leverage done for you digital products. And at this phase in my business, that's exactly what I leverage. So in my business, I sell a done for you digital marketing and online business training course. And I earn $500 every time someone buys that course from me and I didn't even have to create it. Um, the second thing that I sell is another digital marketing course that teaches um, digital product creation as well as how to make money on social media. And again, that was done for me as well. Didn't have to create it, but I earned 340 bucks every single time another person buys that course from me. And then I also have a library of digital products, um, eBooks, planners, um, templates. They are basically um, make money online, support resources and tools um, and, and learning resources, you know, that help people in making money online. And I earn anywhere between 27, 47, 67, 57, 97 dollars. Again, every single time someone buys any of those digital products from my store. And in that instance, again, right, that's a, those are 11 products that guess what? I didn't create myself as well. I went out there, I found the digital products and I rebranded them and I have a license to sell them as my own. And so they allow me to make money very, very effortlessly in that way. So that's how I make money from my digital products on YouTube. You're going to want to figure out what digital products you actually want to sell. Remember, you want to always choose products or you want to always create digital products that are going to meet the needs or to solve problems that your ideal person has. So again, if we're talking about weight loss and women that want to lose a sizable amount of weight and they want to do it through keto, then you have to ask yourself, what's that digital product that I know they will buy, right, that they find valuable that's going to help them in this way? How am I going to help them get started with keto? or understand keto, or be successful with keto. It could be a planner where they're able to track what they eat. It could be a meal plan, right? A seven day meal plan, a 21 day meal plan, a 30 day meal plan. Um, it could be a success guide, right? There are so many options 
that you can decide to go with, all right? But you have to definitely know what it is that you're selling because as you show up in your content, right, and YouTube begins to put your content in front of these women that are eager to learn about losing weight with keto, you want your content to vibe with them. You want your content to resonate with them and you want them to want to know more about what you actually has to what you actually have to offer because that's how they're going to have the opportunity to buy your digital product. All right. Um, the next thing is you want to make sure that you get your YouTube set up. So you want to make sure that you get the very basics of your YouTube set up, right? You want to get your YouTube banner up. You want to, you know, tell a little bit about yourself and your YouTube about me section. There's not a whole lot of setup that is involved with turning your YouTube channel or getting started with your YouTube channel and turning it into um, a, a place for people that want to know more about what you have to offer. The really great thing about YouTube is that people are gonna discover you based upon the content that you create. So really all of the energy, all of the effort goes into you actually creating your video content. Whether that be uploaded content, whether that be YouTube shorts, whether you start to go live, whether you post in your YouTube community, like that's how people are going to become aware of you. So that's really where the emphasis and the focus needs to be, especially when you are first getting started. All right. So once you get your YouTube set up, your job on YouTube, literally, you got to look at this as a job because if you don't show up, right, then... YouTube can't push content out in front of people. If your videos don't get in front of people, it's going to be impossible to sell your digital products through your YouTube channel. So you wanna focus on showing up daily. You wanna focus on serving your ideal people daily. So again, if we're thinking about women that wanna lose weight with keto, right? What are the questions that they have? What are their pain points? What are their desires? Uh, what are they going through right now? Like, you know, you really have to know the mind of the woman that wants to lose a lot of weight and she's looking at keto as being her answer. What are the things that she wants to know? How can you really serve her? All right. So you're going to show up on a daily basis. You're going to serve this audience on a daily basis. You're going to speak to them on a daily basis. And guess what? You're going to sell your digital product on a daily basis directly through your YouTube content. All right. And I want to offer a really big bonus play. And it really more is a mindset around the way you look at your YouTube channel. And this was definitely a difference maker and it changed so much in my YouTube content. Um, in a lot of areas like no cap, I am really still figuring out YouTube uh, because it wasn't that long ago when I made the transition from just kind of throwing up content on YouTube and hoping that something would stick and work. And even with that, I did quite well and I made a great deal of money, but I wanted to make more money. Like I want to do a million dollars in the next 12 months. And so I really had to figure out how I was going to use YouTube as a business, right? Like treat YouTube as a business. And one of the big mindset shifts for me was deciding to turn my YouTube channel into a resource for my ideal person or they can leverage it as drive time, or where they could decide to consume my content on their lunch hour, or whether they could catch up on all of my content on Saturday, like Saturday morning cartoons. Like I wanted when someone discovered me that my channel be the channel that they keep coming back to, to learn all things about making money online, digital products, done for you digital products, you know, success in this way. And so when you adapt that mindset, it constantly keeps you in this way of wondering, like, what else do they need to know? What else can I create for them? How can I be helpful? How can I be useful? And when you put them first and all of your content is really about helping them, you forget about trying to be perfect and you worry more about, like, did this piece of content really meet its needs? Is it going to help them? Is it going to get them further along their journey? Is it going to help them solve a problem? Is it going to answer a question that they have? And believe it or not, when you are crazy helpful and crazy useful inside of your content in that way, that is exactly when people will contemplate making a buying decision with you. Oftentimes, I've had people say, Steph, I had to buy because if your free stuff was this good, I can only imagine what your paid stuff is like. It's reciprocity, right? You give and in return, you end up receiving. And so YouTube is like the best platform, in my opinion, because it's long form content where you get to show up in a really, really big way. You get to demonstrate your skill base or your knowledge base. You get to really show up in a capacity to help people and people can really get the vibe and the energy, you know, around like, okay, this person really does want to help me. And believe me, 
Those are the people. We are the people that people want to buy from. All right. So you want to establish when you're thinking about being their resource, just some really quick things for you to think about. You want to establish their wants. Remember, people buy when they want something, not necessarily when they need something. So you want to make sure you are establishing their wants. You're going to want to also make sure that you establish their desires, right? You want to make sure that you establish um, their needs and you want to make sure that your content provides it, right? Your content provides the answers to their wants, to their desires, and also to their needs and that your content leaves them in a place of wanting more, right? Desiring more. How can I learn more about this? How can I buy this from you? Where can I get that from? How can I take the next step? When your content does that, that's exactly when you will begin to sell, right? More of your digital products, all right? I really hope that this has been able to be helpful, to be able to be useful to you, and that you really see how, if you are serious about selling digital products, not just for today, not just as something trendy, but you wanna build a long-term sustainable business, how YouTube is such the brilliant play. Number one, it's the search engine, right? It's the number two search engine. It's been the number two search engine, right? Again, like I said, right behind its daddy Google, and it's not gonna go anywhere. People love to come on to, to YouTube. They love to watch content. They love to consume content. They love to learn on YouTube, right? Like they constantly come here for these reasons. And as more and more people come to YouTube, right, to consume content in this way, YouTube uses what people consume to help get our content in front of people that are already consuming the kind of content that we are creating, making it easier to get in front of people that already are establishing or demonstrating that they have a desire for what we have to offer. My biggest recommendation to you, my friend, is to decide that if this is the route that you want to go into, that you don't fall into this mode of just like throwing spaghetti against the wall. Don't get into this creative mode where you spend more time creating your bomb digital products and they look all pretty and gorgeous and vibey, but you don't know how to sell them. So my biggest recommendation is to literally decide to learn digital marketing, decide to learn the business of online business, decide to learn how to position yourself online so that as you create things, whether they're done for you or whether you're creating them from scratch, that people have the opportunity to learn about you, to begin to like you, begin to trust you, right? And have the opportunity to actually buy your digital products from you. So as I mentioned, right, I sell a couple of things inside of my business, all digital products, and I don't create any of them. That's just not where I'm at in my business at this phase, right? If I can go out there and invest into things that are done for me and sell them as my own, like that's the way that I want to roll. And so one of my biggest recommendations for people that want to get serious about making money online is the digital marketing course with master resale rights that completely changed the game for me just like six to seven months ago. I'll leave more information down below in the description where you can learn more about this. But if you know that you want to get serious about this, you want to treat YouTube as a business, you want to treat your digital products as a business, and you really want to set yourself up to learn for the long term. Like you want to build layers, you want to build bricks, right? You want to build momentum, right? And let's say like your stuff, I'm ready for my breakthrough. Like I really, I want to be serious about this. I want to learn. I want to begin taking action. I want to make a real go at this. Like I want to make some serious money. You don't want to just go at this again, just guessing or trying to free 99 this. Use videos like this to create the awareness about what it is that you need to help you get what you want, right? But be responsible enough to go get the information in your hands and to invest in what it is that you need so that you can, in fact, get what you want. And what I love about this course is number one, it helps you to shorten your learning curve, right? So you begin to take action and you begin to get set up for online business success a lot faster than the majority of people. And by shortening your learning curve and helping you get set up a lot faster, you also shorten the curve, right, when it comes to earning. And in case you are looking for a really great digital uh, product to sell, well, guess what? This course can become your very first digital product. If you don't know what you want to sell and you're in the market for selling digital products and you love the idea of learning how to make money online, well, guess what? 
this course can actually be one of the first digital products that you decide to sell inside of your business because we give you the license to be able to do so. So again, I'll drop information down below for you to actually check out. But above everything, I really hope this has been helpful. If you are out there searching for a way to sell digital products on YouTube or wanting to know where the best places to sell digital products, I hope this really opens your mind right to all that is available through YouTube when you decide to treat YouTube very, very seriously. If you are leaving better than when you came, please make sure you subscribe, click on notifications, and I look so forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.